Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So you can probably see completely different today, but I was doing something and I thought to myself, why not incorporate this on my channel? So very often I'm always kind of stressed out, always thinking ahead into the future and always worrying about one thing and another. Particularly my new job coming up is if you're following my channel you will know um, about my accountancy studies. I really, really worry about that and I worry about family members and all sorts of things. And to be honest with you, if there's a stone in the road, I'll probably worry about it. <laughs> but again, if that's how you are, you cannot you cannot help that. Um, there are points in my life where it gets a little bit difficult to control at times, but one of them at the moment I'm kind of stressing about things getting sort of where I want them to be, kind of career-wise, um, sort of studying-wise, that type of thing. So academic stress, you could probably call that. But what I'm doing lately, so into a new year, is we are, or I am rather, revamping my room. So very often you'll see my room very, very neat, tidy, and I'm absolutely OCD obsessed with everything being neat, tidy and smart. But one other thing I've been a little bit fed up with lately is the colour, I'm just going to carry on actually because I can see a drip in the paint, is the colour of my room. And I absolutely love decorating, I love wallpapering, love painting, gloss work, um, absolutely love it. Many years ago actually in my nan's house, um, when I was a lot younger, I actually done uh, I done some wallpapering, I done a little bit of plastering and tiling. Can you believe it or not? Um, and yeah, I've really, really loved it from an early age. Actually, I've loved painting. For example, I studied art at um, in my in my final years of school and really, really loved it and come out with a really, really high grade. And I've always kind of used it as something. If I get stressed, it's something I love to come back to. So I was just thinking this, I'm painting this wall now, which is actually like a cupboard. Usually there's lots of clothes and things on here. Um, and up above, you can probably see his books. There's a bookshelf up here, um, but I love doing that. And the clip which I actually wanted to capture it for my channel is that sometimes you will surprise yourself coping with stress. Now for me, one of the things is simply as painting. And whether or not this be I use a canvas, or if I use watercolours, or if I use acrylic paints, but literally as simple as if you're a little bit tired of something or you want to change and it's in your home, do it. Absolutely do it. If it's a big project, if you've got something which is worrying you in the back of your mind, or if you have been meaning to do something, or even if you just want to take a break from something, decorating can be an absolute blessing in terms of covering up a worry or a fear or something which is going on in the background. And for me, it's that academic worry of studying and in my new job. So I've just put all that to one side at the moment, shut the laptop up, put the books to one side. And my wallpaper in my room is a textured sort of paintable paper. Um, and for a long time, I've been meaning to, um, my father would do it, but to be honest with you, I love to do it. So I, um, I still live at home, of course, saving for a new home, but absolutely uh, for my first time home. Um, but at the moment, really, really love doing it. So I have decided to get stuck into something. So we're into January, we've had that amazing Christmas season. And I was just thinking, one of the things when we're stressed, absolutely, decorating. I absolutely love painting. Um, a lot of people think that it's boring, but for me, it's great. I find it very therapeutic and it's an easy way just to switch off and a love of course that you're working towards an end goal you're working towards an end result so that's exactly what I'm doing so I suppose the message going forward with this clip is you can really surprise yourself when you actually when you you contain those worries you contain those stresses and do something useful really throw yourself into something and decorating happens to be one of them um, and I have to admit I have had a lot of compliments from a uh, for my decorating of an early age, actually. Um, sounds strange, but as young as 14, 15, I was wallpapering. Yeah, as a project in my nan's house. And actually, um, <laughs> um, uh, a brother's partner, I actually done wallpapering for with a very um, intense floral wallpaper. And it was really difficult, but I'd done it. And I have to say, I had a really good job of it. Um, really love all of that. So again, it's one of those things which for me, you just shut everything out and you just get going with it. And I love the end result. So that's what this clip is all about today. If you've got something going on, or if you've been mean to do something for a while, put everything aside and make time. And like what we're doing here. So really just make time, put everything aside and jump into it. And something just as simple as decorating or painting can take your mind off of things and it can take you 
kind of in a way of silence and you're concentrating on something and you haven't got those worries there and it's brilliant i absolutely love it and it's and it's something of mine which i'll continue to do into the future and it's great by the way this color here is china clay and i absolutely love it complete revamp nice freshness um really really modern so absolutely love it so that's what my message is today Something as simple, it doesn't have to be really complex, but something simple such as painting, wallpapering, tiling or decorating can really soothe worries and stresses. So if you've got something going on and you're looking at a wall which could do a little bit of updating, go for it, jump for it. Thanks very much for watching and until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.